Picture this. Last year, a massive earthquake in Turkey killed over 50,000 people. But in Japan, a 1,300-year-old wooden pagoda swayed and stood. How? It's secret. A giant central pillar that swings like a pendulum. Modern engineers copied this trick for Tokyo's skyscrapers. But guess what? Ancient India might have even wilder ideas. Take the Taj Mahal's minarets. They're tilted outward slightly. Why? So, during a quake, they rock without collapsing. Simple genius. But here's the mystery. In the Himalayas, villages built houses with wooden skeletons that survived 9 out of 10 magnitude quakes for 800 years. No steel, no cement, just wood and wisdom. Now, Kajuraho's temples have a strange rumour. Some say their stones are magnetic. Could ancient builders have used Earth's own forces to stabilise them? No proof yet. But modern labs are testing this right now. And here's the kicker. Scientists just found that flexible designs like those Maya pyramids with rubber-like lime mortar can absorb quakes better than rigid concrete. Yet, we are bulldozing ancient ruins to build glass towers. So, why are we ignoring these time-tested tricks? Maybe the past holds blueprints we've forgotten. If you want part two, where I reveal how a 2,000-year-old Indian temple design is inspiring earthquake labs, smash that like button and subscribe to Universal Insights. Together, let's dig up secrets that could save lives, because sometimes the future isn't about inventing, but remembering.